I have a dream to meet Henry Winkler. You know, the Fonz from Happy Days. Uh, let me give you the backstory so you understand why. I, gr growing up, went to a um, Christian private school when I was probably in kindergarten. That was the only grade I was in. And I remember I kept saying my ABCs backwards and jumbling things up and couldn't quite understand what was being taught to me. And my teacher was very impatient. And I remember raising my hand and she would never come. She just passed right by me, even if there was no one else sitting there raising their hand. And I remember after we did our assignments, um, we were allowed to get up and go play in the play area until everybody was done. And I remember I'd be the last one sitting there working on my assignment and I'd be raising my hand to get help and she'd just pass by me. And finally I'd just get it done and half the time it wasn't right. And I'd get up and I'd walk over to the play area and she would say, okay, playtime was over. And it was really frustrating for me because I didn't understand as a kid at the age what I was doing that made her not want to help me and what why I was being punished, why I couldn't have playtime. And uh, I think she thought that I was just trying to be a butt. And so I, my mom finally pulled me out of school and started homeschooling me after the first year of kindergarten. And she started to realize that there was something wrong with my learning. And so she homeschooled me for a year or so and then they put me in a public school in second grade, and that's when they started doing testing and stuff. And before that, I was watching the Bill Cosby show, and they had an episode where their oldest son was dyslexic, and they kept talking about all this stuff, and I was like, Mom, this is me. This is how I am. This is how I see things. And um, so I got tested and they found out that I was dyslexic, which gave me validation, like made me feel like I wasn't stupid, that there was, you know, something wrong with me that could be helped with a lot of work. And so I started my journey of trying to learn to read, um, working hard, you know, to do so. And it was a really hard struggle because I was made fun of, you know, because I wasn't at the same reading level as everybody else say math level or writing level because it was a struggle for me and I was called names and bullied and it was a really hard time growing up and um, I remember that I was in one of my LD classrooms and my teacher was asking me you know she knew that I liked the Fonz and I loved Henry Winkler I thought he was an awesome actor and she said you like Henry right I was like yeah I love him She's like, and you like the Fonz? And I was like, yeah, I love him. He's amazing as the Fonz. And he said, and you think he's smart? And I said, yes, I think he's really smart. And she said, you know, he's dyslexic. And I said, no. And so she went on and told me about all the things, all the struggles that Henry Winkler had and about all these other people that were famous that had dyslexia. And it encouraged me. And she said, if you could do, if Henry Winkler could be an actor, you can do anything. And she was like, you're not stupid, you're not dumb. You just have to find a different way to figure out how to do things. And you're very creative. And she pointed out that most dyslexic people were very creative mind and that they, you know, were successful if they put their mind to it and didn't give up. And so all through high school and middle school, all I thought about, and elementary, all I thought about was how, how Henry Winkler could do it. Every time I was down and depressed or upset because I couldn't do it, I just told myself, no, stop you know, feeling sorry for yourself because Henry Winkler can be an actress. You could do anything with your dyslexia. And so I felt very encouraged by him. And so my dream was to meet him and thank him personally because he helped me through life and taught me that not to hate my dyslexia, but to love my dyslexia because it makes me who I am. It makes me a hard worker. It makes me someone that's not going to give up on anything that I do. And uh, it really has made me the strong person that I am today. And 
I feel like every child who has a disability should find somebody that who's famous or non-famous who has been very successful and to keep your eyes on them and see that if they could do it you can do it and I think it's hard for people with a learning disability because you know if you're in a wheelchair or um, you know you have a visible disability you know people notice it and yeah they make fun of them sometimes but it seems like it's more accepted than if yours is invisible and no one knows that you have it because you have to tell them you have it you have to tell the professor that you go into class that you are dyslexic and and sometimes it's hard for them to understand how you view the world or what struggles you have you know and it's hard for them to grasp sometimes it's hard for my husband to grasp like my disability like you know not understanding that no matter how many times you try to explain money to me I don't get it it doesn't you know it doesn't make sense to me I've tried and it just doesn't like the amount of money just doesn't make sense and so sometimes it's hard for people to understand whereas if you're in a wheelchair people are of course are going to understand why you can't walk you know so I feel like sometimes it's hard for kids with a disability and that having someone like Henry Winkler to look up to is a great thing and that's why I really have the dream to meet him I really want to shake his hand and, and say thank you because he did encourage me a lot and showed me that I could succeed too so that is my dream have a nice day until next time bye